a lot of them see just the broader scope of our lives and don't actually get into our everyday lives. And they think that everything yeah. is always perfect, that we have the easiest lives in the world. And it's not always the case. Oh my God, you guys, John David Duggar and his family have horrible news and the Duggars completely hid it from the public and you'll never believe what happened. So I don't wanna waste any time. Let's just jump right on into this one. They were in a plane crash. It all happened in October when John David, his wife Abby, and their baby daughter Gracie were leaving a wedding celebration. The wedding was actually for another famously big family, the Bates family. A lot of us know them, but that's a whole other story that I'll get into in just a little bit. So John David has been a pilot for years. He's actually been the family's pilot for, you know, quite some time. Right after Josh's guilty verdict, it was revealed by a former bodyguard for the family that during one of Josh's other scandals, John David was asked to fly one of the young kids to another state in order to receive medical attention. No one knows what the injury was, but the general consensus was that the child was brought to another state so that Josh and Anna wouldn't get investigated by CPS in Arkansas. But but that's not the only crazy plane story that the family has been hiding because it turns out that in October, right after Jana's child engagement citation and just a little over a month before Josh's trial, John David had a scary incident while flying a plane with his daughter and wife on board. It seems that the crash was due to a faulty fuel gauge and thankfully everyone was okay, but it still is definitely super terrifying. Allegedly, John David's wife, Abby, now refuses to fly in a plane flown by him. And this is especially crazy considering she's a licensed pilot herself too. Luckily, they were all fine. It doesn't seem like, you know, it's very often that people are a part of a plane crash where everyone leaves the scene without any injuries, but John, David, and Abby even made a statement to Celeb Buzz confirming that the plane crash had happened, but they were all fine. They didn't confirm or deny the fact that Abby supposedly refuses to fly with John David, though. They said, and I quote, an emergency landing or any kind of plane crash is a scary thing, but it's exactly what pilots are trained for. We are so thankful for God's protection as we all walked away without injuries when this happened last October. We so appreciate the love and care so many have expressed towards us, but even though they were all fine, the story only got crazier from there. Because John and Abby were flying from Tennessee after Nathan Bates' wedding to Esther. The wedding was being filmed for the Bates show on Up TV, which has had some scandals over the last few years, but what was really crazy was what happened at the wedding. Because John David was a groomsman for Nathan's big day, because the two have been very close for years, both are pilots and have a just huge interest in planes, as we all obviously know. Nathan, who wanted to incorporate his love of planes into his wedding, actually jumped from a plane to get to his wedding ceremony. Yes, you guys heard that right. Just days before John David's scary plane crash, one of his best friends happened to jump from a plane to attend his wedding ceremony, and a lot of people are even speculating if it was the same plane that John David crashed just a few days later. It just had to have been a you know terrifying incident for the Duggar family, but even still, it's just another example of how the Duggars have been completely unraveling since Josh's arrest in April. Things have been crazy for the Duggars since Josh's arrest in April. Everyone is allegedly fighting from what we've seen and taking their own sides, even though they appear to be as you know united as possible during the trial and after the trial. A lot of the sisters came out in support of the guilty verdict. It seems like that the unity might have been forced in front of the press. If this crazy story about Anna Duggar and Joy's husband Austin is true, allegedly just before the trial, Anna and Austin got into a huge blowout fight just days before the trial. And honestly, guys, none of the Duggars have confirmed this, so it might not even be true. But that being said, Austin attended every single day of the trial and did not appear to be happy when he was there. Although the press has said that he hugged Anna, which he definitely did not seem to be Team Josh, and his and Joy's statement after the verdict did prove that. However, allegedly just days before the trial, Anna and Austin got into a huge fight about someone you would never ever 
ever, ever believe, and that would be Carlin Bates. Yes, another Bates is supposedly brought up in the mix of the Duggar issues. Again, you guys, this is all alleged. I'm not even sure if I believe it because it seems so ridiculous, but supposedly Anna got angry with Carlin Bates because her husband, Evan, has been texting with Joshua buying a new car just days before the CSAM was downloaded to the computer at the car lot. And once again, you guys, just so we say, you know, allegedly Anna called up Carlin and asked if it was her that had been at the car lot and downloaded the CSAM to frame Josh. I mean, honestly, I just cannot even believe that I am saying this, you guys. It is so unbelievably ridiculous that I hope to God it's, you know, not true. But it really doesn't even make sense as a theory because Carlin and Evan live in Tennessee, not Arkansas. It doesn't even make sense that they'd buy a car from Josh in Arkansas. And all that to be said, I really hope the story of, you know, Anna calling Carlin and accusing her is just you know, not true at all. But anyway, Carlin is best friends with Joy, Austin's wife, and supposedly Austin blew up on Anna to defend Carlin and Evan. Is it my best friend? I'm so pumped. We just got here. All three kids are in the back. Freaking out. <laughs> just, <laughs> we had three kids all together. <laughs> this is going to be such a fun week. So I'm staying with Joy for a few days because Austin is actually out of town, so it worked out perfect. Yeah. And considering it was just a few days before Austin was seen hugging Anna at the trial, it's honestly kind of hard to believe. And it's even harder to believe because supposedly Michelle was the one that, you know, split the two up and Anna started yelling at Michelle. So I'm sorry, but can you really see a world where Michelle is the one to break up a fight when the family is full of grown men who could have separated the two? And of course, not to mention the Duggar family doesn't seem like the type that would openly get into screen matches like that. And Austin especially has always been very cool, calm, collected. So I just, I have a hard time seeing him getting into a fight with anyone, let alone his sister. Or not all. When I was four and you were eight, I think. Yeah, 17 plus years, something yeah. like that. Yeah, so we've known um, each other like all of our lives. But friends, we really became friends, I would say, probably the year before yeah, we started. You started. We started hanging out a lot more. Yeah. All just seems a little too weird, but it only gets weirder from here because, you know, like I said earlier, the, that the Bates family show was canceled by Up TV out of nowhere last week. And when I say out of nowhere, it was seriously out of nowhere. The Bates family had filmed an entirely new season. It was ready to be aired, like commercials were even airing for the new season, though the morning of the show got canceled. So, you know, no one knows why, but obviously something insane must have happened for it to be so sudden. Some people are speculating that it may have been Carlin's possible association with the car lot. But God, that just seems pretty far-fetched. I mean, could there be a Bates scandal brewing just like the Duggars had? I'm sure, you know, we'll eventually find out, but that is surprisingly not the end of the Duggar drama. Because like I said before, you know, Josh's guilty verdict, uh, the family has been completely divided. We all know this. And all the kids have either come out against or in support of Josh. But one of the kids who was very adamantly against Josh was Ginger, and supposedly it caused just a huge gigantic rift between her and her parents. Because Ginger seems to have probably the most normal life of any of the Duggar kids. She lives far away from the Duggar family in LA and has become more and more mainstream over the years. And Be patient with them as much as possible. It's hard in these days when they're so small. But those things that we saw in our parents that we love, we're seeking to um, raise our kids like that. Um, but then, of course, there are always differences that you have as any family does. And it has come just as a gigantic shock to everyone a few weeks ago when she was seen wearing earrings that looked like champagne bottles at a bachelor rep party just a few weeks ago. And as obviously, you know, we all know alcohol, it's strictly forbidden for the drugger lifestyle and when the whole family. So when Ginger was also one of the first female members to wear pants, and it seems like she may have finally influenced someone in particular to do the same, which believe it or not, would be her mother. Even though Ginger was appeared to be fighting with her family for months, a few of the family members flew out to visit her in LA just last week. And weirdly enough, it seemed to be only siblings who had been in support of Josh and Michelle. So I think we were all wondering if the family was using this as an opportunity to get photographed by paparazzi as a united front after months of speculating that it wasn't the case, especially with Ginger in particular. But the real photo op came when Michelle was allegedly wearing pants while on a walk in LA. I mean, a few years ago, it would have been crazy to see any Duggar woman in pants. However, these days, almost all of them will wear pants from time to time. But Michelle, as far as I'm aware, she never, ever, ever has. She and some of her kids were on a walk in LA last week. And while Ginger and Jan were wearing pants. The one that shocked everyone, obviously, you know, was Michelle. Now, it could have been an easily an optical illusion because in the other photos, 
she seems to possibly have a skirt and leggings on, but in one picture in particular, it definitely looks like she has pants on. So you have to wonder, you guys, is this just another case of the Duggars trying to come across as quote-unquote normal after the horrific Josh trial that exposed so many issues in their family, or are they finally letting up on some of their modest, you know, standards now that they have bigger issues in their life, like all the horrible things that Josh has done? I mean, honestly, you guys, who really knows at this point? But we've all been watching as things have been falling apart with the Duggar family over the last year. And I know I never would have guessed that all these crazy things would have happened to the Duggars at this time last year. And now as we get closer and closer to Josh's appeal, I'm sure it's only a matter of time before more drama comes out about this gigantically crazy family. Well, guys, thank you all so much for watching. Watching. If you are new to this channel, please do me a huge favor with that like, follow, share, subscribe button, and y'all better stay tuned for many more videos.